Hey guys, what is up? Crates here, and I have a really special video for you guys. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I will be going over the Adobe Creative Cloud, and you guys are probably right off the hands being like, what? what's the Adobe Creative Cloud? Crates, tell me all about it. Okay, I will. So if you uh, go ahead and go to Adobe's homepage, adobe.com, you can go to Products and then toggle down to Creative Cloud. Basically, what this is, it allows you to access the CS6 um, Master Suite without having to pay the $2,500 up front. Um, but what I really like about this uh, plan, it's $49.99 per month if you pre-order it. I don't know if the price is going to change after. I would assume not. But if you pre-order it, it's $49.99 month, so $50 a month. And you get, every, you get access for free downloads and free uninstallments and f complete access to every Adobe CS6 application that's within the suite so that excludes uh, Lightroom but includes everything else the popular you know uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, and um, the Flash Player and um, actually I think I can pull up a list I don't know I'll, I'll try and find it while I'm ranting on but um, basically you're paying six fifty dollars a month and you getting access to everything that's worth about three thousand dollars and if you want to, like, if you want to cancel the membership, I, I think you can. Um, but once you cancel the membership, of course, it's not going to let you really use the um, the software. And you also get um, there's different membership op options. Like, you can get the the full Creative Cloud for uh, fifty dollars per month, or you can get it month to month for like seventy five dollars, which means like you can cancel it anytime you want. Or you can get the like student and teacher edition. It's cheaper, blah blah blah. Um, and the annual, uh, the contracts go by annual. So uh, every year, uh, Adobe comes out with a new uh, suite anyway. So basically, you're paying six hundred dollars for the master collection for one year. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. So I, I, this is I'm really excited and uh, proud for somebody actually stepping up to the plate and. Um, finding a counter to all the torrenting. Uh, I know a lot of people watching this video aren't probably even going to do this, but you're just going to go torrent it. And basically what Adobe is trying to do is make it affordable for people to actually buy their full product and um, just make sure that uh, they're, they're actually selling their product and not um, getting it leaked onto uh, sites like the Pirate Bay and, and um, other things like that. And it's really great because... Uh, they get to um, uh, sell their products more instead of um, people going to torrent it. So all the um, oh, this is all it comes with. I'll, I'll go through real quick. So you get in the Creative Cloud, you get Photoshop Extended, which is it comes with uh, like 3D built-in programs, and the new Photoshop CS6 is so awesome, guys. If you have not seen any videos, go go check them out. Um, it comes with Illustrator, it comes with InDesign, it comes with Adobe Muse, it comes with Acrobat Pro, Flash Professional, Flash Builder, Dreamweaver, Edge Preview, Fireworks, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Adobe After Effects, also Adobe Audition, and this new um, upgraded uh, speed grade. Now this is really awesome. It lets you, if you're big into photography and video, um, you can really like spot not necessarily spot heal, but um, I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but you can really, really get into all the colors in your video or photo and tweak them so uh, beyond any Adobe any Adobe or uh, plugin that you can get for Adobe products. Uh, it takes it way beyond that, and it's all in real time. You know, you can view it live, and you don't have to do any rendering or anything like that. Um, it also comes with Bridge and a media encoder which is standard across all platforms um, it also I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that it gives you cloud storage but it doesn't it doesn't say how much cloud storage you get so I would assume um, anywhere from a gigabyte to 10 gigabytes somewhere in between there and you're not gonna really be able to uh, do much with that because you're just you're just limited but um, I'm basically gonna assume that it's for you to just save your files to like uh, your uh, After Effects files or, or your Photoshop uh, PSDs. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you guys were wondering what this was, this is a pretty good explanation, I think, in the way I look at it. If you pre-order it now, you can download it on May 11th, 
and I am currently signed up to get that download. Um, but you can actually go ahead and download um, some of their products now. Um, I think as of today, actually, uh, you can get uh, Adobe CS6, After Effects CS6, uh, Photoshop. You can get all these programs right now, but I don't know why uh, they're waiting a few extra days for it to release this Creative Cloud. And I actually already have Adobe After Effects. And um, stay subscribed and look forward to I'm gonna a tutorial about teaching you guys how to change everything from your After Effects CS5 to your After Effects CS6. And if any of you were wondering, I'm recording with ScreenFlow right now. Also, I will be doing an overview of After Effects CS6 like I did with CS5, and I'm going to be telling you guys the difference. Also, when I get Photoshop CS6 um, in this pr uh, Creative Cloud system, I will be doing uh, tutorials of that. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, little video about the Creative Cloud, I would really appreciate it if you guys could leave a comment telling me if you're going to get it, and uh, leave a like, guys. Uh, Thanks so much for listening, and as always, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.